it's so peaceful out here. I don't particularly want to talk and disturb the silence. <laughs> It feels like I'm miles and miles and miles away from uh, civilization, when in reality I'm not. Um, unlike my last video, where I was essentially in the middle of an industrial estate, I am actually out um, in the countryside properly today, um, actually in Gloucestershire, uh, probably about 45, 50 minutes from home. And uh, I came out here yesterday uh, just to have a better look around. Never been here before. I thought I came out with the dogs, had a bit of a walk. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to have a bit of an explore, see if there was uh, anything worth taking a, an image of. And so I wasn't necessarily expecting anything. Um, to be honest, I was expecting to be mostly disappointed because um, we're pretty much past spring now, starting to get into summer, really. And uh, most of the flowers and things are, are past their best. I mean, bluebells are pretty much gone now. Um, yeah, there's just lots and lots of green and uh, there's abundance of everything, really. It's like nettles, weeds, etc, etc. Um, so I was quite surprised when I got out here that uh, the actual floor of this bit of woodland is uh, covered in wild garlic. Um, it's not exactly at its best. Um, some of it is actually starting to turn, um, but most of it is, I suppose, just at the stage before it's about to turn. So it's, uh, it's not looking too bad um, if you don't focus too strongly on it with your eyes. Uh, it looks all right. Uh, I think if you try and get any detailed shots, then you're going to be a bit disappointed. Um, but yeah, so I came out here yesterday. Um, the light was a lot better than it is now. Um, it was actually a bit later on in the day, and there was uh, a fairly clear sky, lots of sun coming through, lots of rays coming through uh, through the trees, um, creating patches of light all over the place. Um, but it's not doing that now, it's actually quite grey and overcast. Um, I'd originally planned to come out here a bit later today, probably near a sunset, but having a look at the few apps I've got on my phone, um, I think I would have had to have been here a lot earlier than sunset because of the hills around the area. Um, we might have lost uh, the light about an hour or two before sunset. Um, but not knowing the area that well, can't be absolutely certain about that. So I thought I'd come out a bit earlier in the day, left home again, uh, fairly clear blue skies, lots of bright sunlight, uh, which I thought would be quite nice for trees, but as I got here, it's all grey and clouded over, which is a bit of a disappointment. However, I uh, I'm going to try and turn that to my advantage and uh, see if I make a couple of nice images. I've got a couple in mind at the moment. Um, and bear in mind I haven't really explored that much of this woodland so far. But there's um, a couple of little like, well, footpaths and tracks that are leading off into various bits of woodland. There's one behind me, one over to my right. Um, I just, the pathways make a nice little leading line through the, uh, the wild garlic. and. Uh, yeah, there's plenty of trees, plenty of green, and I might be able to make something of it. So I'm going to give that a go and uh, see what I can get. Uh, you probably can't see it because the uh, sun appears to have gone behind a cloud again. Uh, but we were, I was starting to get a bit of uh, dappled light coming through, um, which is quite nice. I managed to get some on uh, this image I've just taken and uh, some on the image sort of roughly behind me. I've uh, taken a few... Um, yeah, that's probably a bit of a better view. Taking a few from this angle, uh, I've also tried to incorporate this uh, abandoned flight, abandoned sty. Um, clearly, the original path used to go some way through that way, completely overgrown. Now you can't see where it goes, um, but I say there's new paths that way and back up, or back up up the hill. Um, so I think I'm I'm done from this location. Uh, they've turned out probably better than I was expecting. I'm actually quite happy, especially with the ones that include the sty um, and the ones facing in that, that direction. Uh, so I put those up shortly. But yeah, they've come out a lot better than I than I expected. I'm um, actually you probably see better now. We're now starting to get these little patches of light coming through. And so I'm gonna venture in or for, venture further in this little bit of woodland and uh, see what else I can get.
So you can probably tell I'm no longer in the woodlands. I've actually sat back in my car. Long story short, the pathway I was going along didn't go very far. It was going along the side of the hill that I'd gone up. Um, yeah, just kind of petered out. It was just a animal track. Made my way down the side of the hill. Um, not too difficult, not too high up. And uh, thought I'd see if I could make my way back along the river that runs along the bottom of the hill. Um, yeah, that didn't work. So, like, too many fallen trees and just general overgrowth in the way. Um, so I thought I would uh, just hop across the river, which is very low and very shallow at the minute, and uh, come along um, the actual bit of roadway that runs along the side of the river and at the bottom of this hill. That's the first bit of traffic I've seen in the last, or heard in the last hour or so. It's very quiet around here. Um, yeah, so I got down to the river bank, <laughs> got a place where I was going to cr cross over <laughs> and fell over. <laughs> um, I haven't really hurt myself because I fell kind of into the river bank. So I was going down the river bank, just fell into it. I thought, I'm not going to fall into the river, that'd be silly. Um, but I've managed to sort of bang my hands, and unfortunately, um, due to intervening with my dogs, we were having a go at each other the other day, I managed to get myself a little bit bitten. And uh, unfortunately, I've not managed to get dirt in the wounds, because wounds are healing quite nicely. Um, and I managed to <laughs> kind of make sure I didn't land on my thumbs. Um, but yeah, I've come back to the car. I've Clean my th thumbs up a bit, put some uh, dressing on them. I should have had dressing on them in the first place. <laughs> I'm not a sensible person at times. Um, but yeah, so I've come back to the car, put a dress on there, having a bit of a, just a cool down, because I got quite hot <laughs> coming back. Uh, I'm just going to make my way back um, down the road um, to another entrance, or sorry, to another bit of footpath that kind of circles around the bit of woodland that I'm in and meets up with the path that I was supposedly following. Um, I suppose the one unfortunate thing is out of all this is I'm not missing out on any any images. Um, the wild garlic and it was like a nice bit of scenery kind of just petered out the further along the hillside I went. Um, so hopefully as I go along that other bit of footpath I will find something uh, a bit more photogenic. Anyway, I'm just going to uh, cool down for a few minutes, grab a quick drink and then uh, head back out. executive decision I'm not circling round to the uh, bit of woodland that I was initially in um, I got a sneaky suspicion that it's probably not going to be that exciting if I do I think all the wild garlic was uh, at the other end of it rather than this end so rather than uh, head off up that way I'm going to uh, head this way um, along uh, this is a bridal way as opposed to footpath but it also uh, goes alongside this river and uh, I think I'm probably going to have more opportunities to uh, get some riverside images rather than up in the woodlands at the minute. I say when you come over to the fish, when you come, <laughs> not that you could see that, when you come over to here this, this is quite nicely shaded, the uh, water level is not too bad along this stretch of the uh, the river. I'll say a bit further that way it uh, has patches where it's not very good. I'll say there's, uh, there's quite a few little fish in there. I know absolutely nothing about freshwater fish, but I know absolutely nothing about fish in general, to be fair. Um, look, there's some in there. What, three, four inches long? 
wouldn't make a very good meal. I think you'd have to have about ten of them to make a decent sandwich. I really don't fancy a fish sandwich. Right, I'm going to uh, crack on and see if I can find myself some images. <laughs> I can't help but be jealous of the people that live here. It's absolutely gorgeous around here. <laughs> Imagine that as your view every morning. Oh, I'm not jealous, I'm not jealous, I'm not jealous. I wandered up the uh, river as far as I could um, before the path I was following uh, moved away from the riverside. Uh, it didn't look like it was going to rejoin it anytime soon so I decided to head back. Um, considering how gorgeous it is out here um, it's been very very difficult to get an image. I have got one small pano, three four image pano. Um, not brilliant, I might put it on, I might not. I'll see how that looks on the uh, on the computer when I get home, um, but give it a go. The biggest problem is the uh, the light. I say you can probably tell it's very bright out here. Um, it's not necessarily harsh light; it's just very very bright. So it is about half two, um, <laughs> so it was always going to be a challenge. Uh, but hey, hey, never mind. So the most important thing is that I've uh, <laughs> managed to get out and about, um, enjoyed the weather, enjoyed the countryside, and. Uh, yeah, managed to get a bit further away from home this week. As I said earlier, it's probably about 40, 50 minutes away from, from home. A bit of air, a bit of woodland that I've not been to before. Um, quite nice, obviously. Plenty of scope to come back uh, again. Hopefully a bit earlier next year. Um, get that garlic um, when it's nicely in bloom rather than just uh, past its best. And uh, yeah, it'd be nice to see this area in different seasons. Um, imagine it'd be uh, very colourful in autumn and we'll come back and have a look then perhaps but uh, anyway Ooh. what have I gone? oh there we go anyway that's it for this video um, hope you've uh, enjoyed my enjoyed? enjoyed? yeah I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you've enjoyed my little joint around the countryside uh, please feel free to like and subscribe uh, that would be wonderful really appreciate it and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.